Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're standing here at Arthurdale at the main center, the visitor center, where you come to explore the history and the heritage of this, um, uh, his, uh, of this community and its involvement in America through the years, started by Eleanor Roosevelt. We're going to tour inside the Smithsonian uh, Institution's uh, depiction of panels on rural life in America and questions dealing with the rural life and the changes that's going on and all kinds of ideas dealing with um, what rural life is. So tell us why this exhibit came here. So the Smithsonian really was intentional about partnering with community organizations throughout the United States and within West Virginia. And so you go through an application process and seven sites ended up being chosen, Arthur Dale being one of them. Mm -hmm. And so if you get the chance to see the Smithsonian exhibit, we're actually mentioned uh, Arthur Dale and the Arthur Dale Homesteading Project is mentioned uh, within one of the exhibits. And so we were chosen for one, the ability to host the exhibit itself, our space, but to uh, the importance it could have to our communities in terms of the programs we develop based on the conversations represented here. Then I ask, why did the exhibit come to Arthurdale and its importance in coming there? You know, being from West Virginia, and certainly a different part of West Virginia, I think we forget as West Virginians that our state is a you know, national, international importance, because we're told this narrative of what our state is, but we know that to be different. And I think the Smithsonian sending its exhibit to our state and to so many sites within our state shows the connections that we have to national history and our importance on the national stage, that we're not some just podunk little state, but that West Virginia is a place that can make a difference. For those who don't know a little bit about how Arthur Dale even got started and founded, yeah. can you touch base for a few moments on that? I mean, why is Arthur Dale important? How did it get started? Why is it the historic center that it is? Oh, my favorite question. So <laughs> Arthur Dale got started um, to really address a need within the United States. So during the Great Depression, you know, there was an increase in poverty and it was certainly immense poverty as well and particularly within the Scotts Run region in Monongalia County of West Virginia. Uh, and you see some really dire conditions. And so, you know, there have been organizations working in uh, Scotts Run before, but it came to the FDR administration's attention, particularly through the First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. And this was one of her, you know, pet projects, one of her areas of interest, Arthur Dale. And so she visited the community herself, the Scots Run region that is, uh, saw, you know, the conditions that people were living in. And within the next two weeks, they were started on the resettlement project. So the basic idea was to bring um, impoverish families out of poverty and give them a fresh start, um, particularly when it came to subsistence farming. So the idea being you have people living together intentionally to really have a community and then the other portion being subsistence farming so that way you know you're growing your own food you will always have food security and then the money you make can be used towards other things. Um, and so a lot of people at that time were really struggling with being able to eat as well as to be afford everything else. Yeah. And how long did it take to implement the purchase of the land, the building of homes, the settlement of the people from the Scotts Run, Osage and surrounding area? Yeah. A couple of years? So a couple of years, I think they started in 1933. The first settlers moved in in July of 1934. So, uh, and then the ending of the building of housing was 37, is when the last house was built. So a couple of years, but certainly, you know, getting people, the first 50 families moved within a year or two of the project starting, which is certainly a success right. um, in terms of government planning. Then I ask, what are some of the lessons that we can learn from Arthur Dale today by looking back to yesteryear. I think 
Well, in terms of, you know, Arthur Dale at present, at present as an organization, we are still very run by community members, particularly Homestar descendants, so grandchildren, great-grandchildren of the people who originally settled here. And so I think that's something to look at, you know, that people can be in charge of the places that matter to them. It doesn't have to be handed off to other people and it can still be successful, you know. Uh, and to also, we like to say on our tours, Arthur Dale was a hand up, not a hand out. Uh, roughly a thousand people moved into Arthurdale out of Scott's Run and that's a thousand people taking, taken out of poverty which is certainly a success and then those people went on to become you know middle class upper middle class just the social mobility from a project like this despite its failures and I think that's something we need to think more about when creating social programs now is not just you know certainly you need to stabilize places for people, but you also need to think about how they can rise out of poverty as well, not just putting a band-aid on the situation. So the seven stops have been in West Virginia, where were the first two, were they also? In no, so there are seven stops in oh. West Virginia, um, I think this is year two or three of this being on the road. It's also on display, there are two other versions of this, you know, okay. um, copies of this, one in Wyoming and then the other in Virginia. Great. Yeah. Same pictures and... Yeah, same stuff. everything, yeah. All right, yeah. well, thank you, Claire. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. You've been watching the Smithsonian Exhibit Crossroads, an intersection of rural life with uh, today's concerns. But we concentrated on Arthurdale, experiment in social living, capturing the rural area in the 1930s. Thank you very much for watching.